The U.S. government is about to ban AI chips, and this news sent NVIDIA and AMD stocks crashing after hours. It seems like every single time we have something good happening, like some brand new disruptive technology like AI, we can always rely upon the U.S. government to come in and screw it up. Well, that unfortunately is exactly what's about to happen. And that's why AMD and NVIDIA crashed after hours. Now, I'm going to talk about what this means for the future of AI. We're also going to talk about what this is going to mean for the stock market. But before we get into those details, let's go review what's happening with the overall economy, because that's going to help paint a better picture of where the stock market might go and how it might react to this news. Whenever we talk about the economy in this day and age, we've got to talk about inflation. And home prices rose for the third straight month in April. Prices are now just 2.4% below their June 2022 peak. And that means inflation remains strong. And it means the Federal Reserve is going to have a lot more work to do in order to get inflation down, which most likely means more interest rate hikes. And all of those interest rate hikes are causing consumer spending to slow down. It's causing the U.S. economy to slow down. And the U.S. leading index, this is the data we expect to come out over the next few months, that index is fallen for the 14th month in a row and continues to signal a major recession at some point in the future. Now, what's interesting about the leading data is that generally these leading economic indicators will point to a recession starting within 18 months of when the recession indicator first hits. We're now in month 14. So based upon historical data, the recession should hit sometime within the next four months. And this is backed up by the fact that jobless claims have hit their highest level since late 2021 as layoffs get worse. Now, ultimately, if the stock market is going to go down and start going back down again like it did in 2022, rather than rally like it has for the past nine months, if there's going to be something that triggers the end of this bull market that we've been in for the last nine months, it's not going to be news of a recession. It's not going to be any Fed rate hikes. All of that stuff is priced in. Ultimately, if stocks are going to go down, it's going to be because earnings go down. We're going to have to see more companies start defaulting on their loans. We're going to have to see more bankruptcies. We're going to have to see earnings go down. And that is exactly what we are seeing. In fact, corporate bankruptcies and defaults are surging. Companies are defaulting on their debt due to uncertain economic conditions and heavy debt loads. High interest rates have made it difficult to refinance as debt right now is way more expensive than it was when interest rates were near zero. There were more than 230 bankruptcy filings through the end of April, which is the highest rate since 2010. That's right. We have seen more bankruptcy filings than we have seen since the end of the great financial crisis. I hate to make a reference to the great financial crisis in the current economy, but facts are facts. That's where we are. Even if the stock market is rallying, the economy is painting a very different picture. And Lordstown Motors is the latest company to file for bankruptcy. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection early on Tuesday. Now, it's not all bad news. Obviously, the stock market has been rallying, and over the past three weeks, the stock market breadth has been improving as the overall stock market rallies. It hasn't just been limited to five mega cap tech stocks like it was for the first eight months of this rally. Over the last month, we've seen for pretty much all of June, all stocks rise, and that's a really good sign. But the question is, is this just a situation where a rising tide is raising all ships, or is this a situation where things really are getting better? 
One thing is for sure, the AI hype that initially caused this rally is certainly remaining in place as Unity shares rose 12% on Tuesday after the company just announced that they were launching an AI marketplace. So it remains that if any company even mentions the word AI, their stock is going to rally by 10, 20%, which means the hype, the speculative bullish market sentiment that we've seen over the past eight months and really nine months remains in place. And it is this kind of bullish hype over AI that has sent shares of NVIDIA up 187% this year, shares of AMD up 70% this year, and many other companies have doubled this year as well. But unfortunately, that might all be coming to a very quick end, thanks to the U.S. government. NVIDIA shares sold off almost 3% after hours on Tuesday. And AMD was down another 2% itself. NVIDIA and AMD stocks fell on a report of a new AI chip ban from the Biden administration. Just when it seemed like things were rosy and these companies were going to have record earnings, here comes the government banning AI chips. So what's really going on here? What's going on with this AI chip ban? Well, what's happening is the U.S. is considering, they have not put it in place yet, but they are considering new curbs or bans on AI chip exports to China. Essentially, these restrictions are coming amid concerns that China could use AI chips from NVIDIA, AMD, and others for weapon development and hacking. So it's not that the U.S. is completely banning AI chips. Rather, they're banning the export of AI chips to China. And this is going to hurt AI chip manufacturers such as NVIDIA and AMD because a lot of their sales are in China. So if they're not allowed to sell to China anymore, this is obviously going to hurt sales. But because this is only a ban on exports to China, it most likely would really only affect the AI chip manufacturers such as NVIDIA and AMD and possibly to a lesser extent Intel. It's not really going to have that big of an effect on other stocks that might benefit from AI technology such as Apple, Tesla, and Amazon. So obviously this is a hurt. Now we take a look at something like NVIDIA, which is up 180% this year. Can NVIDIA maintain that kind of rally with a large portion of its market segment now being banned? Uh, it's probably unlikely that it can. And that's why we've seen NVIDIA sell off after hours. NVIDIA is already off pretty much from its highs. And it looks like this pullback or sell off in NVIDIA is going to continue. Now, whether or not that pulls us out of this technical bull market that we're in and cause the stocks to go back down or not is going to remain to be seen. I think that with the current bullish market sentiment that we're in right now, this extreme greed period based upon the CNN Fear and Greed Index, that stocks should continue to go up because I don't think we're going to see an overall larger market pullback until the market wakes up to the reality of the economy. And I don't think we're going to see that happen until we see earnings start to go down, quite possibly towards the end of July and early August as Q2 earnings start getting released. But really, it's not even going to be earnings that'll send stocks down. We've seen that before. It's really going to be the forward guidance. If companies start providing forward guidance for Q3 and Q4 that show the possibility their recession could hurt earnings, then we could see stocks finally start to fall. But at least for now, I don't think we have any catalyst to bring the overall stock market down until late July or early August at the earliest once Q2 earnings start getting announced. Now, if you want to know what I'm doing and how we're making money through all this, how we're trading and all the options that we are buying and selling. We've been doing quite a few multi-leg options, some credit call spreads on credit put spreads on the S&P, specifically SPY. Uh, we've also been doing a little bit of futures trading on the ES, which is an S&P 500 index, and NQ, which is a NASDAQ index, and then also some calls and puts on some individual stocks. If you guys want to know everything we're doing, everything we're buying, how we're making money, 
our main coach in there who runs a uh, mastermind program, she made over $13,000 on the public trades in May. Uh, we'll find out what the total is for June. I'll let you guys know. But we are definitely making quite a bit of money in there. If you guys want to join us, I want to let you know we are having a special July 4th sale. For that July 4th sale, it is going to be 20% off of the entire coaching program. And that sale is good now through July 4th. All you have to do to take advantage of that and find out more is schedule a call with the onboarding specialist at weprofitdayandnight.com. Go to weprofitdayandnight.com, click start learning, and he can give you all the information and details on the sale that we're running right now. If you got a lot out of this video, then be a good friend and share this video on your social media pages so that others will know why AMD and NVIDIA are going down. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you missed the last video I uploaded, make sure you watch it here.